The Family Events Series started last year with four events and we've increased it this year to six events and they're geared specifically for people to bring their children to these events. So a lot of them are in the afternoon, the evening shows are early in the evening, they start at 7 o'clock and it's so that the whole family can be exposed to wonderful arts uh, in an affordable way on various nights of the week and weekend so that hopefully it'll be available for everybody. And the first one is actually on Sunday, October the 10th, and that's the Kenya Safari Acrobats. These people are amazing. They do feats that I just don't know how human bodies move in that direction. They are wonderful for the whole family, whether it's grandma who's in her 90s or your three-year-old, everybody will be enthralled as they watch them perform. The next act is Dancing Wheels. Dancing Wheels is a dance company from Cleveland area that involves dancers both with and without disabilities, and they're doing Alice in Wonderland. They have their own dance version of Lewis Carroll's book about the girl who goes down the rabbit hole, and it's just a marvelous, wonderful event, and it's on Friday, November the 12th, and we want the whole family to come and see that one as well. It's a seven o'clock show. We move from Alice in Wonderland to Zydeco music with Terrence Simeon and the Zydeco Experience on February the 11th, which is a Friday. It's again a seven o'clock show. It's a bead fest when Terrence is in town. You'll see more flying beads than you could ever believe. Terrence performs on the accordion, he sings, his band is great fun. You'll learn a little bit about Louisiana Creole and the culture there, and you'll hear wonderful music. And that's also a seven o'clock show on a Friday night. The next family event is on Saturday, February 26th at seven o'clock, and it's the new Shanghai Circus. Again, they're from China, and they will perform acts and feats that you won't see every day. How about riding a bicycle with 10 of your closest friends on it? That's one of the, the tricks they sometimes do as part of their performance. Um, it will be full of wonderful costumes of the culture as well as of 2,000 years worth of Chinese circus tricks. It's not a three ring circus. It will just be on stage at Stocker Art Center in our one ring. And then on March 18th, which is again a Friday night at 7 o'clock, we have two wonderful singer-songwriters, Jonathan Kingham and Ryan Shea Smith. They're from the Seattle area. They do a lot of songwriting workshops, so they'll be here for a full week. They'll be working with some of the schools in the area as well as some of the students here at the college. And hopefully those students will be there performing their song that they've written that week with Ryan and Jonathan on the stage. They also make up songs right as they're doing concerts, and so it will be fun to see if they pick somebody out in the audience to write a song about right then and there. Then on April the 3rd, which is another Sunday, we have the Hunt family. This is a mom and dad, and there are seven children. All of them play multiple instruments. They all sing, they all clog. Uh, it's just their typical talented family just not mine. And then we're going to close out this series, the family series this year, with a free event. And that's going to be on Tuesday, May the 17th at 7 o'clock. It's the Cleveland Orchestra Youth Orchestra doing a concert on our stage. Interestingly enough, when Stalker first opened on September 27th of 1980, it was with the main Cleveland Orchestra. So we'll sort of go full circle back to their youth orchestra that night.